Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and today I want to talk to you about PSVR 2 specifically how is PSVR 2 getting on on PC ever since that adapter launched last month well as you may know Steam carry out monthly surveys where they can get hardware information about the people playing on Steam people can get selected randomly to opt into this survey and then if they do this Steam will gather a bit of information about them and then they'll put together this list at the end of the month to show you what people are using in terms of graphic cards and you know hardware but that also includes VR headsets so now that September has rolled around and now that you know PSVR 2 is actually out there in PC land now for the first time the first month we've got some of this information for PSVR 2 and we can use this to get an estimate not exact I want to be very clear about that nothing about this is exact there's also the added caveat that people who are asked to take part in the survey might have been asked to take part before the adapter was even out, so that would affect it too. So we won't really know properly until October when, you know, we've got a full solid month of September to see if that changes things. However, it might give us some indication. So we've got this article here from Upload VR, and it's uh, written by David Heaney over there from the 2nd of September. He says, Quest 3 now used on Steam more than Valve Index and the PSVR 2 appears. So this data comes from the Steam Hardware and Software Survey, which is offered to a random sample of Steam's users base, user base sorry, each month. If you accept, it uploads a list of your PC specs and peripherals to Valve, as well as any headset used on Steam VR in the past month. So whatever the last headset you played in the past month, that's what gets uploaded. So that's another thing that could maybe skew some numbers a little bit. So if people have multiple headsets, maybe you got a Quest and a PSVR 2, and maybe you hooked up your Quest since your PSVR 2, I think then it up would only count the Quest, I think, if I understand that correctly. But if we scroll down here, obviously Quest, of course, dominating. The Quest 2 still dominating. Uh, Quest 3 gaining a little bit of ground, but even, you know, a very small amount. But uh, we got to go down here to see what the PSVR 2 is doing. Now it's plus 0.35%. Obviously it's gonna be plus because it never existed there before. So anything would have been a plus, but 0.35% of the total Steam viewer users. You might be wondering to yourself, what is the total amount of Steam viewer players who actually use VR? Or sorry, Steam users who actually use VR. And that's given to us here at the bottom as well. So 1.69 of people who have a Steam account use virtual reality headsets on that steam account so then what we can do is ask google which is what i did over here how many people are there on steam so there's 132 million monthly active users on steam so then i went to chat gpt because i'm lazy and i said what's 1.69 percent of 132 million and that tells me that it's 2.2 million so this number here 2.2 million, I can't highlight this because it's part of a graph, but you can see my mouse. So the Steam users with VR headsets works out roughly 2.2 million people on PC VR. To figure out what the PSVR 2 percentage of that is, what's 0.35% of 2.2 million? I asked that as well to ChatGPT, and that gives us 7,807. So, and again, these numbers are not exact, we cannot 100% guarantee that they're accurate or something like that, but they might give us a general kind of a gist, an outline, a guideline to see how things are going. And it looks like we have roughly 8,000 PC adapters out there in use uh, with PSVR 2 headsets on PC. And you know, when you, when you think about all the people saying that, you know, if PSVR 2 launched with PC VR support, it would have, you know, been flying off the shelves. I think this data indicates otherwise, perhaps. Uh, now, once again, I'm going to look at this again in September, or not September, the end of September, the beginning of October, when this, you know, when it's had a solid full month to do a proper service so that we don't have any excuses like, you know, well, the adapter was now, yes, and I believe the adapters are still easier to get now. You know, they were difficult to get at first, but maybe now it's easier to get them. So in October, we will have a better idea. But I still think you can guess you know some kind of an inkling of what's going on here it's not setting pc viewer on fire you know it's not blazing any trails over there again based on these numbers worse than i could have imagined 
and I'm already doom and gloom on PSVR 2, but this is like, uh, you know. But still, I'm going to hold out hope for the October one, and maybe that'll change the numbers a bit, and, you know, things were skewed and whatnot. But yeah, I find that fascinating. As someone who does own the PC viewer adapter, as someone who's been exclusively playing on PC viewer in the last, you know, since it came out, basically, on my PSVR 2, I haven't hooked it up to my PlayStation 5 since it came out. I've been enjoying it mostly, you know, when my PC isn't crashing, but that's PC for you. But let me know what you think about this Steam survey, about the player base, alleged player base, based on these numbers over on Steam on PSVR 2 headsets. Let me know all that in the comments below, your thoughts on that. Are you part of the elite 8,000 people like myself who have bought this PC adapter? Do you really think it's going to jump up a lot in October? Maybe it will. And just as a side note, by the way, 2 million Steam users out of 132 million, and only 2 million of them are using VR. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad to me, I think. Anyway, that was just an interesting little topic I thought I would make a video about. Uh, just to keep going my trend of, you know, being doom and gloom when it comes to, uh, you know, anytime we see actual numbers when it comes to PSVR 2, or even if they're rumored or whatever, we never seem to see positive ones. It's always rumors or leaks or, you know, estimations of bad numbers. So I have to keep wondering where the positive Patricia is who think everything's going great on PSVR 2, where are they getting their information from? That's what I would like to know. I'd like to see those sources. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to end this video there. Thank you very much for watching. Before I do, though, let me thank my channel members. They are the following. Dead Eye Dan minus Geza, Mr. 777, Aced, Edified Till I Die, Superfly AF, Crumb, Pete Hawkins, the Governor of Eeyore, Deej, the Pumpkin Patch Kid, Plank 71, Esports Commentator for Hire, no one knows and muzz thank you very much for that support it is greatly appreciated also thank you to decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos that is it for this one please let's have a chat in the comments below if you'd like and until next time i will say goodbye stay nice and moist <laughs>